Ok, so we now have the ability of inline editing cards. However, there is one thing I don't like, and that is, currently I can open multiple edit forms at once. This is possible because the visibility of every form instance depends on its own state. Each component has its own is showing form variable. To make it so that we only display one form at a time, we need a central store to keep a reference of the card that is currently being edited. This way, when we edit a different card, we can close all the other ones. So what I'm going to do is create a store object and share it across all the card list items. So I'm going to go to resources, JS, create a new file called store.js and this will simply export a reactive object. So we'll do export const store equals ref. Let's import a ref function from view and we'll have something like editing card ID. And now we'll go back to our card list item component, import the store, and here, instead of having a boolean, we'll have a computed value that will check whether or not the card ID matches the store editing card ID. So we'll have props card ID equals 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 store.value editing card ID. Of course, this also means that when we are calling the show form function, we should no longer set the is showing form value. We should set the editing card ID. So here we'll do store value editing card ID equals props card ID. And the same is true when we are hiding the form. So down here, we'll set store value editing card ID to null and same here and here. So store editing card ID equals null. Let's try it out. I'll refresh, edit one, edit two, and that closed the first one. And this is how easy it is to do cross component communication in view three. Let's do the same for the out card form. I'll go to store and add something like list creating card ID set that to null, and then open the card list item create form, import the store, and then down here we'll have computed props list ID equals 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 store dot value list creating card ID. Then when we are showing the form, we should set the current list ID, so we'll do store value list creating card ID equals props list ID. And when we want to hide the form, we should set that ID to null. So we'll do store list creating card ID equals null. And now if I refresh, press add card to the first list, and then press add card on the second list, this will close the first form which is what we wanted. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff. Bye.